Hi, my name is Moji. I have schizophrenia. And in this video, we are going to talk about how marijuana is related to psychosis and schizophrenia. So I think generally we have this view of marijuana as being this harmless psychoactive drug compared to other drugs that are out there. But I wanted to make this video to make people aware that there are some risks associated with it. So if you're gonna take part in it, just be aware of this. And I'm not against marijuana use. I think it helps a lot of people and if it helps people I think it should be available for them and if as an adult you want to take part in it I think you should have the choice to do that but for me marijuana is not as harmless as I thought it was so that is what we're going to talk about so before I get into my experience with marijuana and psychosis and eventually schizophrenia I want to share some articles out there just talking about the relationship between marijuana and schizophrenia or psychosis and I'm going to post the links in the description for these papers or articles that I'm sharing so you can go read them for yourselves so the first thing I'm going to share is from January 2023 it is an update from the National Institute of Health and it is called Marijuana Research Report. So this article talks about how there is considerable, though not all, evidence that links marijuana use to early onset of psychotic disorders, including schizophrenia. They list some other factors such as genetics, trauma, stress that affects mental health, which can sometimes lead to the use of drugs, including marijuana. But it also states that marijuana use is linked to an increased risk of psychotic disorders, such as schizophrenia, if you have a family history, which means that you are genetically prone to it. And then further down, it talks about temporary psychosis from weed, which can lead to psychotic disorders down the line. So one thing I wanna add here is that in my family, there is a history of mental health illness, and I have family members that are dealing with mental health issues in my generation currently. But in my family, they are pretty hush about mental illness, so we don't really know about our family history on mental health, but there has been instances. So I was already genetically predisposed to having mental health issues based on my family mental health history. But let's get into the second piece that I wanna share with you guys. So this is an abstract from a research that was conducted in Denmark. So this study looked at all the people in Denmark, 16 years and older who were born before December 31st, 2000. And it concluded that the case of schizophrenia associated with marijuana use disorders have increased three to four times in the last two decades. Again, if you want to read this paper further, I'm gonna have the link in the description. So that is one thing I wanted to share. And lastly, I want to share this news release from National Institute of Health on May 4th of 2023. And it is titled, Young Men at High Risk of Schizophrenia Linked with Cannabis Use Disorder. So this again talks about a study out of Denmark. They analyzed health records spanning five decades, which included six million people. And they found a strong relationship between between cannabis use disorder and schizophrenia, though the association was more strong between young men uh, as compared to women. And they emphasized that the cannabis use disorder was a modifiable risk factor for schizophrenia. So I wanted to share those so you guys can read for yourself that there is evidence out there that links marijuana to schizophrenia or psychosis. But now I'm going to get into my own experience with marijuana. And if you find value in this content, please like the video and consider Consider subscribing it helps the channel grow so I smoked marijuana regularly from 2012 to 2015 so it wasn't some really long time that I was smoking it for and mostly I did this at night I wouldn't smoke during the day because I was working so it was a lot of fun there was obviously positive things that you feel while you are high like the food tastes better and the music sounds better and there's a lot of things that were really nice about it so I, I did take part in it but that all changed with my first psychotic episode in 2015 so these delusions that I'm going to talk about are just not always with marijuana. It, they happen to me obviously without marijuana as well, but I'm on medication. So it kind of pushes that away. But if I ever do smoke marijuana, it is nonstop. Like I can't stop those delusions. Uh, I can't change my perception of that. I get into this mindset that there are these beings. And as soon as they realize I'm in that state where I can notice them, and they start talking to me through the, these people and they're really, really mean, like really, really mean. And pretty much they're like, oh, you're back. Now we have to look at you and talk with you and being sarcastic about how this is going to be great fun, like how long my high is gonna last, where I have no control over pushing these delusions away. So I, that's how I look at it because I don't wanna believe that my own family, friends, and everybody that is around me, even TV, really, really just hates me so much 
person that they're mean to me all the time. Like all together, there's this plan against me and they're just, I just have to live here with them and deal with it because I'm not gonna hurt myself. At least that's how I like to think of it. <laughs> it helps me not pay attention to them and be functional in real life. And obviously there's a lot of evidence that I can look at that my family and friends and people do actually love me. There's a lot of support that I get even putting these videos out there. So there is a lot of good positive energy coming towards me that I like to pay attention to and not look at these delusions that make me feel like I should hurt myself. So again, with marijuana, I have no ability to, to counter this and I can't push it away. I can't focus on anything. And then on top of that, if I'm alone, I start hearing voices and they start talking to me. So it's really bad when I smoke and that is why I don't smoke anymore. And I don't feel the positive effects of marijuana if I do smoke. So in the past, I've actually tried after my first psychotic episode, I've tried a couple times to smoke again, uh, but there's no way I can smoke. It happens to me every time I smoke and I'm stuck in there for hours just dealing with these delusions and voices and all this negativity. But when I do not smoke and I am on meds and I am using my coping skills, it's easier for me to push these delusions and thoughts away and focus on what's really out there, which is love from all these people that I feel. So I hope this video just helps identify some risks that are associated with marijuana use. And if it helps you uh, and you want to take part in it, I think you should have the choice to take part in it. But just be aware that there are some risks and know your medical history and be safe out there. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around and have a great day.